In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of higher order derivatives. Now the concept of higher order derivatives has already been made very much clear through the previous videos. This is the last numerical problem that we are taking up into consideration. It says if y is equal to 3 e raised to the power 2x plus 2 e raised to the power 3x prove something of this sort. It is basically equation and it has been asked in the year 2007 in the CBSE board examination. Since it's a proof question, I write the heading as proof. So let's write the heading as proof. And now again, don't panic with the length of the solution and the questions. Length, you just see that what all is needed. d2y by dx square, dy by dx. So first derivative needed, second order derivative also needed, right? So what is dy by dx? dy by dx means the first order derivative, differentiation of y with respect to x. So if 3 is there, let's remain 3 as it is. e raised to the power 2x is there. Differentiation of e raised to the power 2x is e raised to the power 2x only. But you also have to follow chain rule, so the differentiation of 2x is 2. Then it is plus 2, then it is e raised to the power 3x, differentiation of e raised to the power 3x is e raised to the power 3x only, but 3x differentiation is also there which is 3. Now, let's solve it a bit, 6 e raised to the power 2x, how come 6, why 6, because 3 2s are makes it 6. Then again 2 3s are 6, so it is something of this sort. Now again, since dy by dx has been found out, we do not have to stop here for the solution. We also need to find out d2y by dx square since it's needed later. So d2y by dx square is what? It is differentiation again of dy by dx but with respect to x. So 6 constant as it is, e raised to the power 2x, again the differentiation e raised to the power 2x into 2 for the same obvious reasons as above, plus 6 as it is, e raised to the power 3x differentiation is what? e raised to the power 3x multiplied by 3 for the same obvious reasons above. Now 6 2s are 12, 6 3s are 18, so 12 e raised to the power 2x plus 18 e raised to the power 3x. Now can we leave our solution here? Not at all. Why? Because the question is not complete. It asks us to prove something not to find out only the second order derivative. So we have the LHS of the question. Let's write the heading LHS. It says d2y by dx square minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y. That is the LHS of the question. So when it is the left hand side, you have to simply put the values in the left hand side. So plus 6y. It becomes what? d2y by dx square. Where is the second order derivative? It is placed here. So it is 12 e raised to the power 2x plus 18 e raised to the power 3x. Minus 5. So it is minus 5. Multiply by dy by dx. What is the answer of dy by dx? Let's write. So it is 6 e raised to the power 2x plus 6 e raised to the power 3x plus 6y. So it is plus 6 multiplied by y. Where is y? y is 3 e raised to the power 2x plus something 2 e raised to the power 3x. Please do not make any mistake in copying the question wherever you need in the solution because even if a sign or a digit is mistaken by you written wrong the whole solution goes wrong right now so please be careful 12 e raised to the power 2x plus 18 e raised to the power 3x then 5 6 are makes a 30 so minus 30 e raised to the power 2x then again 5 6 are makes a 30 so minus 30 e raised to the power 3x plus 6 3s are makes it 18. So 18 e raised to the power 2x plus 6 2s are makes it 12. 12 e raised to the power 3x. Now what is needed? Now you have e raised to the power 2x term here, e raised to the power 2x term here, e raised to the power 2x term here. 12 and 18 being positive make the addition to 30 e raised to the power 2x plus 30 e raised to the power 2x minus 30 e raised to the power 2x gets cancelled. So it's all cancelled. Again, have a look. 18 e raised to the power 3x, 12 e raised to the power 3x. Addition makes it 30 e raised to the power 3x 
which cancels with minus 30 e raised to the power 3x. So basically everything cancels. So my answer should be 0. And 0 was what we needed to prove. This was the RHS. So I say that my LHS is equal to RHS. Hence we have proved this question.